Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at importing data from the web into Excel Now the web is vast of information and there is a fair chance there is information that you need to use regularly available on there What we really want to do is look again import from there but more important obviously also establishing a link between your spreadsheet and that data existing connection so that we don't have to import it again this data will refresh when we when we tell it to by clicking our refresh button uh, and keep everything up to date so what we're going to do is go to our data tab on our ribbon and I'm going to click on from web over on the left to get external data from the web and this will open up a new web query uh, asking me for an address and I'm going to go to a website if this eventually opens up I'm going to put in my Google password let's get rid of all that rubbish uh, we're going to go to a website called soccerstats.com now being a big football fan or a big soccer fan I love this site full of good information good stats uh, on football leagues around the world so let's expand this by double clicking the title bar or maximize I should say now this is it look at this loads of football leagues around the world along the top uh, whether it's my home country England or got the Spanish the French the German the Brazilian all over the place uh, loads of statistics on screen about what's happening right now uh, the Confederations Cup um, superb what we want to do uh, is I thought we'd get in the top goal scorers from Spain's La Liga so what I'm going to do first of all is navigate to that page so I've got a link at the top for Espana let's give that a click opens up shows me recent results and league tables uh, but then select stats let's go for this drop down list oh, I want the scorers table and that will hopefully open up the scorers table Ah, here we go, fantastic. To so see loads of fresh information, I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, more importantly, back to Excel, the bits of information we can extract from this page are shown by these yellow boxes. Uh, and as I hover over them, it shows me what they're looking at extracting. So, you know, we can get the whole page, we can get these certain aspects from it, like this advert and this flag. Um, obviously, this one here is what I'm after. I want this table. So I'm going to give that box a click, so I'll say that I want that bit, and then click import in the bottom right. This should prompt me for one more bit of information, asking me where I want to put it. Equal sign indicating it's going to create a connection, it's going to establish a link here. If I click OK, it will import that information. Data is now in Excel, so all our kind of Excel skills, if we want to apply conditional formatting or sort and filter the data you know everything is you know the world is our oyster because we love Excel and Excel is extremely powerful at analytics and working with statistics now it's quite often that imports don't work quite so kind of fresh and quite so neat and we can see here the goals column didn't quite align up uh, so what I'm going to do is select that goals heading drag it across to the right and delete that column but bear in mind that I'll um, resize that as well and we're fixed doesn't take two seconds uh, but yeah bear in mind that every time we refresh this that same mistake is going to happen we'll have to repeat ourselves so you know recording macros creating macros um, after data imports is probably the or at least one of the most popular reasons for using a macro to tidy up imported data the data sent to you from a client um, and it's a typical example, it's nothing difficult, but doing it every single time, we, we can incorporate that into a macro, refresh it, shift over goals, delete the column, resize the goals column each time. Uh, that refresh button I'm talking about, I can see up on the data tab right now, we have this connections group, I have a refresh button to refresh the connection, uh, although it is linked to that website, if that website changed, uh, my spreadsheet would not automatically pick that up. But also I've got a connections button here which is handy to know 
this displays all the data connections for the workbook and here I can see I've got an existing connection with uh, options on the right if I wanted to to, uh, to remove that connection uh, to refresh again or to change existing properties about it uh, clicking on that properties button I can see that if I wish to I could change the refresh uh, kind of timing so I could ask it to refresh automatically every every 30 minutes or just to refresh when I open the spreadsheet but not whilst I'm using it so there are extra options available there uh, but most importantly there is a data connection in place so it will refresh it will update uh, and also that inputting data from the internet is, is easy really um, depending on what you're importing you may not have an option there for you it depends how that web page was constructed but here is a typical example where it, it's a pretty beautiful import uh, apart from the kind of goals column I don't think there's any other issues at the moment on there uh, apart from maybe a little bit of formatting to tidy it up fantastic stuff uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargar.com